Hi everybody, this is Dr. A, and in this last video on the integumentary system, we're going to talk about um, procedures and treatments uh, for the integumentary system. All right, so let's talk about some biopsy procedures. So um, biopsy, abbreviated as BX, is the removal of a piece of tissue to examine it under the microscope. Excisional biopsy is the removal of an entire suspicious area of tissue for examination, usually when you suspect cancer. Exfoliative cytology is the scraping of cells from tissue to examine them under the microscope. A frozen section is a thin, thin piece of tissue that is cut from a frozen specimen for a rapid examination under the microscope. The fact that you freeze it makes you able to really cut some really thin sections so that you can you can see them and stain them and see them on the slide. The fungal scrapings are scrapings from lesions that are cultured and then also examined under the microscope and you're looking there for fungal forms of course. Skin grafting, so if this skin grafting happens usually uh, in the aftermath of burn, as, of a burn as part of the healing process. So an allograft is a skin graft from another person. So from one person to another, uh, it is called also called homograft. Um, this is where maybe a family member, uh, somebody who's related to you, would donate part of some of their skin, and you would you know you take part of it, uh, not all, and then they they can cut it and like stretch it. It's really interesting, and and then your skin would heal up, and then they use your skin on the person that was burned. An autograft is a skin graft from a person's own body, so usually from a region that is not the same as the region that's burned. So, uh, you know, they may take it from you know, abdomen or another limb or something to um, graft onto the burn. A dermatome is the instrument that cuts the skin for producing this really thin transplant of skin. And dermatoplasty is skin grafting. A skin graft, or SG, is the transfer of skin from a normal area to cover another site. And lastly, a xenograft is a skin, skin graft from an animal of another species, usually a pig, it is also called a heterograft. So let's look at some surgical procedures. Uh, cauterization is the destruction of tissue by using chemicals, electricity, or heat or freezing. Um, so it's like a, you burn it in a way, so um, chemical burn and all that, so um, that destroys it and turns it into more of a scar. Cryosurgery is the use of extreme cold to freeze and destroy uh, tissue. Um, curtage is the removal of superficial skin lesions with a scraper, also known as a curette. Debridement is a removal of foreign material from a dead or damaged tissue um, from a wound. So foreign material, uh, debris, like think if somebody that got into uh, a motorcycle wreck and there's a bunch of uh, road particles and dirt and road rash into their road rash into their arm or leg or whatever, they've got to get all of those out in order for that wound to heal. Electrocautery is using an electric current to destroy tissue. Incision and drainage, also known as IND, is making an incision to drain material such as pus, so maybe on a boil, to just open it up so that it can empty and heal from the inside out. Onychectomy is the surgical removal of a nail. So let's talk about plastic surgery terms now. So chem abrasion is the abrasion of the skin using chemicals is also referred to as a chemical peel. Dermabrasion is the abrasion using wire brushes or sandpaper. It removes scars and tattoos. Laser therapy is the removal of lesions using a laser beam. Liposuction is the removal of fat beneath the skin by means of suction. And ridectomy is the surgical removal of excess skin to eliminate wrinkles, also known as a facelift. And then lastly, we're going to talk a little bit about the pharmacology for um, the integumentary system. So um, an anesthetic uh, will deaden pain. Um, this, this is for anesthetic not feeling. 
uh, examples are lidocaine and procaine. An antibiotic would kill bacteria like Neosporin. An antifungal will kill fungi like Miconazole and Clotrimazole. An antiparasitic will kill mites or lice like Quell or Nix. An antipyritic will reduce severe itching like Caladryl and Benadryl and any hydrocortisone topical cream. An antiseptic kills bacteria. Um, this is like isopropyl alcohol or hydrogen peroxide. And a corticosteroid uh, cream is a powerful anti-inflammatory like a Cortec or Kenalog. It is more powerful than the antipyritic, the anti-itching cream. So, all right, that wraps up our uh, treatment procedures, etc., for the integumentary system. Thank you for tuning in.